how many different ways to complete the trip, okay? As you can see, first stage, we have three options. Use ferry, take airplane, or swim. Second stage, from Vancouver to Calgary. We can either drive a car, take a train, or ride a bike, okay? It's also three, three different options. And the answer, we can formulate this as well, a two-stage decision problem. First stage, we have three options. Second stage, we also have three options. So the question is, how many possible ways to complete the tree? Is three times three or three plus three? What do you think? The answer is what? Three, three times, three. times three. Why is three times three? Why is three times three? Okay, let's look at here. On the first stage, I can use ferry. Use ferry, then second stage what? Take a, what? Ride a car. First stage, use ferry, second stage what? Take a train. First stage, use what? Ferry, second stage, you ride a bike. Okay, or first stage, you take what? Airplane. Second stage, you use car, train, or bike. Or first stage you swim, second stage you can use a car, you take a train or ride a bike. So all together you have nine different options. Okay? So there are nine possible outcomes in the sample space. How you get nine is three times three is now what? Three plus three. So multiplication will arise. Okay? Next one introduce you factorial. Factorial n. N factorial. How we define n factorial? N factorial is defined to be n times n minus 1 factorial. And 1 factorial is defined to be 1, and also we define 0 factorial is as 1. Example, 3 factorial is defined to be 3 times what? 3 minus 1 factorial. But 3 minus 1 factorial is just 2 factorial, so this is 3 times 2 factorial. But again, 3 times 2 factorial, 2 factorial can be written as 2 times what? 2 minus 1 factorial. So it's 3 times 2 times 1 factorial. 1 factorial is defined to be 1. Defined to be 1. So 3 factorial is 6. Okay? Similarly, 5 factorial, you find 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. Okay? You want to copy? Go ahead.